اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Moderation Analysis IBM SPSS AMOS Series In the last session, we assessed how role ambiguity moderates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. The link for the session will be shared in the description. In this session, we are going to probe the interaction. What happens to the relationship at high moderating level or at a, at a high level of the moderator? at the mean level of the moderator that we also assessed in the last session and at the low level of the moderator. So briefly going through the last session. So what we do first is we find the mean values for IV and the moderating variable. So the next step, we mean center our variable. How do we do this? We just simply subtract the mean value from our composite variable. In this case, that is CC minus, this is the mean value for CC. Similarly, you do it for RA minus the mean value for RA. So both are composite variables. And then we create the interaction term of the centered variables. And finally, we get our model like this in AMOS. And these were our results. Now, if we see the interaction was negative and significant, now this means that there is a negative moderating role of role ambiguity in the relationship between CC and OP. Now the next step is probing the interaction. Now what do we mean by probing the interaction? Now in our moderation example, we can see that the interaction is significant and negative. But we do not know much else about the interaction or ultimately how the moderator influences the relationship of independent variable and dependent variable. Now, what do we mean by knowing more about the relationship? Now, we need to probe the interaction, which means we are going to explore how the relationship of independent variable and the dependent variable actually changes at different levels of the moderator. Now, in order to accomplish the testing of different levels of the moderator, we are initially going to explore how to examine a moderator at low levels by creating a new low level moderator. That is one standard deviation below the mean of the original moderator. So we are going to test the relationship between our IV and DV at the low level of the moderator. What if role ambiguity is low? What happens to the relationship then? And finally, we are going to test our relationship between IV and DV at high level of moderator. So what happens to the relationship when the role ambiguity is high? What do we mean by high role ambiguity? Mean plus one standard deviation. Low means minus one standard deviation and high means plus one standard deviation. Now, what's our first step? The first step is that we need to find out the standard deviation for our moderator. In this case, the standard deviation is 1.36595. So how are we going to use this? So let's probe the interaction when the moderator is low, that is low level of role ambiguity. What happens to the relationship when we've got low level of role ambiguity? So what we need to do is we will need to create a variable that is called low RA. And how do we do this? We have to add the standard deviation to the centered role ambiguity. Now first, let's create this variable. So go to transform, compute variable, and here it is. So low RA, that is low role ambiguity, is created through centered RA plus the standard deviation. Just press OK and your new variable is here. It's created. Now let's go back to the theory of it. Now remember, we create the low level of RA by adding the standard deviation to the mean centered moderating variable. Now it seems odd to get low moderator value by adding the standard deviation. 
but this is necessary process to represent the low levels of the moderator. Since this is standard deviation, we are adding standard deviation to the mean centered moderator. This means you are going further away from the mean. Further from the mean would be low roll ambiguity because you are going below the mean. You are distancing yourself from the mean. You are simply increasing the distance from the mean value. That's why when you are taking or calculating the low roll ambiguity or the low values for the moderator, you are adding the standard deviation. This will distance you from the mean, not bring you closer to the mean. So that would be low RA, that is low value for the moderator. Now the next step, we need to create this variable as well. Just the same way we did in the last lecture where we created the interaction between CC and RA. Now we need to create the interaction between mean centered CC and mean centered low RA. So what we need to do is once you have low RA variable like this, you need to create an interaction with the low moderator that is low RA and the mean centered independent variable of CC that is center CC. So how do we do this? Again, let's go to SPSS. Go to transform compute variable and let's name it. Let's copy the name. So let's paste name here. And what you're doing is you're just simply multiplying your centered CC with low RA and you will get this interaction term because we need the interaction term to assess the moderating role of low RA. Just press OK and here is your variable. So once this is created, the next step is we need to do this in Amos. Now we need to build this model in Amos. So how do we do this? Simply go here. Now here is the previous model. Your independent variable, your moderator, your interaction term, your dv. Now here is my data, but I can't see the other variables here. So I cannot see the interaction term. So what I need to do is I need to re-import my data. Make sure you have saved the changes. Let's go to file name. Import our data. Press OK. And now have a look here. Now we've got them here. So what we need to do is we need low RA because we are looking at the impact of low level of moderator in the relationship. And we need to change the interaction as well. Now let's run the model because we've got the interaction term of these two variables and we've got the low level of moderator. And how do we run it? We just go to calculate estimates and we go to the output. Now let's look at the estimates and look at the interaction. So we are interested in this relationship at low RA. Look at this. It's still significant. So even at low level of RA, the relationship between CC and OP is significant. We are going to discuss this in a short while. So probing the interaction that is low moderator in the output, the only relationship we are concerned with is that of CC to OP. We want to see how this relationship actually changes when low RA is included. Notice the interaction results and the moderator relationship to OP did not change from the original analysis. Look at this. This did not change from the original analysis. The values are the same as the original analysis. The results show that when the employee had low degree of RA, that is when your role ambiguity is low, the relationship is significant and stronger in comparison to our original relationship. What was our original relationship? The original test showed a regression estimate or regression coefficient estimate of 0 0.502 at the mean level of RA. Now, when you've got low role ambiguity, this relationship is strengthened. And now under low RA, this relationship is strengthened to 0.632. Now, moving on. Just the way we did for low moderator, we need to do for high moderator. Now, how do we do this for high moderator? Again, in this case, previously we added the 
standard deviation to our moderator. In this case, we are going to subtract. So we are getting closer to the mean. Let's go back to SPSS, go to transform, compute variable, and this is high RA. Now we need to subtract from center RA, subtract the value, what value? Our standard deviation. Just copy the value and add it. Make sure it's subtraction because this is high RA. Just press OK. And now your variable is created. The next step, as we did earlier, we need an interaction of our independent variable with the high RA, that is your moderator. How do we do this? Go to transform, compute variable. Simply paste the name here. And now you will need center CC multiplied by high RA. So you get the interaction. Press OK. And now the two variables are created. And now we are ready to run the analysis. So let's go back to Amos. Let's close this. Now again, it's not there. We need to import the data. Go to file name. Now here it is. So just go to view the input part diagram, add high RA here and your interaction here. Now we are ready to run the model. Let's run the model. And again, let's go to the output. Let's go to estimates and we are interested in this relationship. Now look at this here. The relationship between CC and OP is weakened when there is high RA. Now let's go back to the interpretation or analysis of output. So we've done it for high moderator as well. Now, how do we assess the output? When we go to estimates link in the output, the relationship between CC and OP, although this is weakened, look at this, but it is still positive and significant at high level of moderator. Now the moderator is significant at all the level. At high level, it is significant, have a look here, at the mean centered level, 0 0.502. When we did not create any high and low level moderators, now we simply created an interaction term between our IV and our moderator and assessed its impact on the dependent variable. It was significant as well. And at low level of the moderator, it was significant and stronger. Now we can see that with the change at the moderator level, the relationship between CC and OP actually changes. So what happens is the construct of RA is moderating the relationship of CC to OP when RA levels are both weak and strong. Look at this. RA strong, RA weak. And the relationship or the estimate is changing and changing significantly. Now by probing the interaction, you get a better picture of the relationship from the independent variable to the dependent variable in the presence of the moderator, just like this. Now, if you want to know more about moderation, this is a very good book. I hope this video would have helped you understand the concept of interaction and how low level and high level of the moderator can influence the relationship between IV and DV. Thank you very much.